you don't have to get on a tour bus to see these sites. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 places you must visit if you're a Sex and the City fan. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at Sex and the City shooting locations in New York City that every fan should check out on their next visit. Oh, no kidding. Congratulations. It's gonna be in the bookstores and everything? Yep. yep. That's great. Hey, well, if that's the case, then tonight, the hot dogs are on me. Number 10, Magnolia Bakery. Despite the fact that the name of the business was never actually mentioned on the show, there's perhaps no Sex and the City location that's blown up as much as this Bleecker Street Bakery. I have a crush. Yeah? Yep. Good. You haven't had a real crush in a while. Not since Big. Big wasn't a crush, he was a crash. In a season three episode of the show, Carrie and Miranda sit outside of Magnolia Bakery eating cupcakes and talking about Carrie's new love interest, Aiden. His name is Aiden, and I believe him to be very cute. The short TV spot helped spur the global cupcake trend and made Magnolia so popular that they constantly had lines around the block and actually had to hire a bouncer to keep customers in check. Number 9. Gray's Papaya When Carrie releases her first book in the fifth season of the show, her publishers throw her a fabulous launch party, which ends up being a big disappointment. Thanks for coming, Burger. Yeah. All right. Uh, good luck with the book and, and everything. She is starving afterwards, and rather than eat somewhere hip and trendy, she eats at Gray's Papaya with her driver. Oh, no, you don't have to pay. No, oh, thugs are on me. I insist. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. All I could think was, who needs a burger when you can get a fabulous hot dog for 75 cents or free? This classic New York hot dog joint is a great place to stop for some cheap eats while you're in the city. The flagship location is at 2090 Broadway, corner of 72nd Street, so make sure to stop in if you're on the Upper West Side. Number 8. Jefferson Market Garden We should get married right here in this mess. I'm gonna have to if I can't get this gum off. We knew our favorite cynic was never gonna have a big white wedding, so when she proposed to Steve and started planning her non-traditional nuptials, fans were curious what the end result would look like. Hey, that's a nice garden. Yeah, it's pretty. But not corny. What do you think? I don't hate it. After a chance encounter, Miranda ultimately chose the unassuming Jefferson Market Garden as the perfect place to say her I do's. To love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. Their wedding there suited their low-key relationship perfectly, and we couldn't have imagined it any other way. This community garden is located in Greenwich Village and is open to the public every day except Mondays. Number 7. New York City Hall I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Speaking of weddings, how about stopping by the place where Carrie and Big eventually tied the knot at the end of the first movie? When you can wear, watch your feet. No, we're not talking about the main branch of the New York Public Library, which was the site of their failed wedding. We mean New York City Hall, where the couple held a simple civil ceremony before going out for breakfast with all their friends. The majestic and historic building is located downtown, and while it's not open to the public, there are free tours offered daily. Number 6. Columbus Circle Fountain Let's get married tonight. Uh -huh. Come on, you got this beautiful white dress on. I got this tux for another 13 hours. If you want to visit the scene of one of Sex and the City's saddest moments, this one's for you. Yes, I'm scared. Come on, Aiden, we talked about this. No, you talked and I listened. The gang attends a black and white ball, and Carrie wears a bridal-style gown with her fiancé Aiden as her date. At the end of the night, however, the two realize that it's never going to work out during a conversation that takes place at the Columbus Circle Fountain. Look at me before we make a huge mistake. If you don't want to marry me right now, you'll never want to marry me. This fountain is located at one of New York's busiest intersections at the southwest corner of Central Park. Before taking a walk through the park, you can recreate this dramatic scene with your bestie. I can't believe I'm back here again. Uh, sure. Number 5. The Loeb Boathouse Look, I know you think it's a huge mistake. It's just... 
It's just something I feel I need to do to move on or something. After checking out Columbus Circle, head into Central Park and make your way towards the lake to see this next Sex in the City filming location. In the finale of season three, Carrie agrees to meet up with Big for the first time since he's ended his marriage to Natasha. Beforehand, Miranda makes a point of telling Carrie that she can under no circumstances let Big kiss her. Yes, don't let him kiss you. That seems to be where you get into trouble. In her nervousness, she dodges his greeting and falls into the water, dragging him in with her. This makes the scene a memorable one, but probably not one you want to reenact. Are you okay? <laughs> Number four, O'Neill's. Forget it. Not going. To what? What is it? Steve Brady and Aiden Shaw? You're probably wondering why you'd be going to a random Soho resto bar, but that's probably because the name doesn't exactly ring a bell. But did you know that O'Neill's actually stands in as Steve and Aiden's bar scout on the show? Rather than building a set for this location, the show creators decided to shoot on location as they did often during production. That night, despite all my fears and reservations, I let Miranda and Samantha talk me into going to the opening of Scout. The real bar is on Grand Street, while the fictional Scout is located one block over on Mulberry. Go in, grab a drink, and see if the bartender will play jacks with you. The production crew never took down the O'Neill sign on the exterior of the restaurant, which can be seen in many episodes. Number three, the Plaza Hotel. In this fan favorite episode, Carrie walks by the Plaza Hotel while Big is holding his engagement party there. The square outside is where she has an encounter with Big and delivers the famous line from The Way We Were. Your girl is lovely, Helen. I don't get it. And you never did. While we don't get any scenes inside the famed hotel, it's still worth it to walk through the lobby and soak in the history of the place. The plaza is only a couple of blocks away from Columbus Circle, so it's easy to combine these two hotspots into one visit. Number two, Manolo Blahnik. I need your honest opinion. Carrie may have several great loves throughout the series, but none is more undying than the relationship between her and her shoes. Please, sir, they're my favorite pair. I got them half price at a, at a sample sale. Above all, she worships designer Manolo Blahnik and references the brand of footwear many times during the show's six seasons. While Carrie may shamelessly spend her paychecks on shoes, we definitely don't expect you to. Even if you can't afford to actually buy anything, at least let yourself peer through the window of this upscale boutique. The fact is, sometimes it's hard to walk in a single woman's shoes. That's why we need really special ones now and then, to make the walk a little more fun. Manolo Blahnik is located in Midtown at 31 West 54th Street, between 5th and 6th Avenues. I spent $40,000 on shoes and I have no place to live? I will literally be the old woman who lived in her shoes. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. But one of the most amazing things about living in a city like New York is that any night of the week, you can go to Paris. The reservation was for 8.30, right? Yeah, that's okay. right. <laughs> here you go. Fantastic. Enjoy. Thank you. I have another few, what do you say? You're a bad influence. I waited and waited. You sent to me, get the subway. Number one, 66 Perry Street. Officially, it's 245 East 73rd Street. When Carrie gives her address on the show, she says it's 245 East 73rd Street, which is located on the Upper East Side. Anyone who's visited that area, though, knows that it looks nothing like the street pictured in the show. The real spot where they filmed the exterior of Carrie's apartment and her famous front steps is actually located at 66 Perry Street in the West Village, which is also more in keeping with the neighborhood Carrie seems to live in. Keep in mind that real people actually do live here, so snapping a quick picture is okay, but hanging around on their steps is a little disrespectful. you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.